Dry January is a fastly growing movement where people elect to avoid drinking alcohol for the entire month of January. It invites people to use the start of the new year to examine old habits and make healthier choices. Joining us to share some tips for success this dry January is Joe Shura, founder of non-alcoholic craft beer company, Go Brewing. It's so nice to meet you. Welcome to Thanks Texas. Thanks so much for having me. Of course. So we're starting a new year and a lot of people are doing dry January and you have done it also. Can you talk to us about your experience doing it? Yeah. So uh, I would say that dry January is a really good time to examine your relationship with alcohol. For me, my life changed because of a challenge very similar to dry January. And what happened was I was drinking almost every day up until that point. Um, and it was just kind of normal. I was under this cloud of alcohol for, for a long time. But when I abstained during this challenge, I felt incredible. Um, I had less anxiety, weight started to melt off, and I just felt mentally clear. And I wanted more of that feeling. But I still had these massive cravings because I was so used to drinking alcohol at five o'clock or on Fridays. And I searched everywhere to curb my craving. But it wasn't until I found non-alcoholic beer that I found something that actually did that in a meaningful way. And uh, from, from that point, I abstained for at least 75 days. Okay. Um, I lost like 40 pounds during that process, took on all these great habits. And it was, it just literally changed my life. And I was like, man, I want to create a non-alcoholic brewery to give other people that same feeling that I got. If you think about this, like it takes 21 to 75 days to build a habit. I'm in my mid forties. I've been drinking for decades, right? So to, to go through dry January and think you can stop immediately, it's extremely challenging and you need something to fill that void. And I'm telling you, Non-alcoholic beer did that for me, and I know it could do it for a lot of people. Nice. Well, talk to us about your products. Uh, what flavors are they? Um, how does it work? Yeah, so we have all kinds of, of different flavors. Uh, whatever beer donuts style. Donuts right there? Yeah, this is a donut salad. Oh. So whatever flavor so cool. of beer that you like, we have it. We have five IPAs. IPAs are like the most popular beer. But we also have this Pilsner, which won a gold medal in the Best of Craft Beer Awards. We have this new school sour that pours beautifully in a wine glass. This double IPA, which is a super hoppy beer. Our Sunshine State, which is a, a mango peach, very fruity IPA. I like that. And we have gluten-free beers as well. We have two of those. Really? Yeah. Okay, so how do you make alcohol-free beer? Is, is it the same process as normal beer? How does it work? Yeah, so there's still a little bit of alcohol in here. So, so to classify something as non-alcoholic, it has to be under 0.5% alcohol by volume, which is equivalent to the amount of alcohol in orange juice or a, a oh, banana. So it's okay. it's very little. Yeah. But how we do it is it there's there's a lot of different ways. So there's a way to dealkalize it. There's a way to use different types of yeast. Um, what we do at Go is we use the same ingredients that you would find in any traditional beer. Okay. We just developed a methodology to adjust time, temperature, and ratio to create a beer that tastes just like the real thing but doesn't have the alcohol and has a byproduct of a fraction of the calories. So most of our beer is between 50 to 100 calories, except this donut style, it's a little bit higher. <laughs> what do people tell you when they first try these beers? Are they like, oh so my god, it, I can't believe I hadn't tried them before? So the feedback has been incredible so far. Our mission was to make the best NA beer on the planet. And when we go to beer fests, and okay. we actually will taste our non-alcoholic beer and do a mystery test against an alcoholic style, <laughs> and most people, get this, most people get it wrong. They, they cannot tell the difference wow. between our beer and a beer with alcohol in it. That's crazy, that tells you so much. Yeah, and, it, and it, that's our mission, because we know that it has to taste like the real thing to fill that void that you're missing in your life that we've all grown so accustomed to. Yeah. Thank you so That's much right. for joining us today and for sharing your product with us. I'm excited to try especially that one with donuts. <laughs> oh yeah, it's really good. Thanks so much for having me. Thank this you. This is great. To learn more about Gold Brewing or to shop online, visit their website, goldbrewing.com.